So Clay, for this one, we're gonna be heading down into Pleasant Grove, right in the, in the heart of the city of Pleasant Grove. Literally behind the fence of this house is the rose garden that's kept up by the city. Oh yeah. And, yeah. That's, and this is where they've got all the museums and all that kind of stuff. And this is a, a rambler or a bungalow style that's completely been redone. It, wow, that is beautiful. I mean, really, they've done some nice finishes in this. Now, as I talk about this house, I want to talk about the difference because the buyer that's going to be looking at this house is also going to be looking at like a luxury condo. Uh -huh. And so as we walk into the inside of this thing and see this new kitchen because they've completely redone, I, doesn't it, it remind, this is as good as one of these luxury condos, but yes. there's benefits of buying a single family residence, right? Yes, and there, there really is. You know, beautiful, like you say, but the great thing about this is you have to look at a condo. You're going to have HOA dues about $150 a month on average. That's right. Well, every $50 gives you $10,000 in buying power towards a home. And the difference, of course, is you have this beautiful home that's been completely refinished with a private yard, not bumping into any neighbors, and just a really good family setting. And so theoretically, you can buy what, it was a $30,000 more in a house versus a condo and have That's the same right. payment. That's exactly right. Exactly. And the other benefit of this is with a condo, one of the dilemmas they always run across is because they're always having to, when somebody wants to sell, there might be, if it's a condo sub, uh, subdivision of like 100 of them, there might be five of them in there to sell. And it's always the one that's the least expensive that drops their price. Yes. With the single family home, it doesn't do that. It holds its value much because it's unique. There aren't any more like this. And so it also, you get both buying power with this and you also get better appreciation because condos are the first ones to, uh, to drop down on the market if something changes That's right. single family residence always has value and so if you can get one like this it's already been redone completely and beautiful it's got a yard and it's in it you know appreciate better you got better buying power Right? Yes, and it's much more unique than a condo, like you say, and that's why it does hold its value because it's not like everybody else around you. A lot of character in this home. They've done some really nice finishes in this, and it really does give you, like I said, that high-end condo feel, but it's very unique and very customized. Yeah, and the, and the nice thing is you get your own yard, and it's right in the heart of the city. You've got a deck off the back, and you get oh, your own yeah. garage. I mean, and this is, uh, this is community. You know it what I mean? It is, and that's what matters. Thank you.